Hello YouTubers, this is Brian and today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to stack images in a program called Registar to completely remove noise from your deep space astrophotography pictures. Um, I have a picture here of the M45, the Seven Sisters or Pleiades constellation and I'll show you one of the ones we're going to use. If I zoom in you can see how much noise is here. It's, uh, it's horrible. Uh, in case you're wondering about the photo, it was shot on a Sony Alpha A6300 with a Rokinon 135mm lens at f4 and it was being tracked on an Ioptron Sky Tracker, I believe is about 59 seconds at ISO 800. So with that, uh, we have all of our pictures here. Uh, all of your pictures should be in the TIFF format. And let's open up a program. Go, we got our program here. We're going to open up our files. Click on the open folder button. Um, choose all of our files. So click, shift click, open. So it has all of your files open. And then right now you want, you want to register your photos next. And we click on the register images button. And we want to click on the multiple source tab. Make sure this directory is correct. It's going to reference this image, which is the last one of the images that we opened it. And then you want to hit register. And depending on the amount of photos and the size of photos you have will depend on how long this takes to stack. And what it's doing right now is it's registering the stars in every single photo that you see it scanning. And then it's going to line them up and then when it's done registering everything, we'll combine them all and you'll have a perfectly noise-free image. And this will probably take a minute or two. This program is probably one of the best I've used to reduce noise, but it's really expensive. I, I think it was like $172. I still haven't found anything that comes close to it as far as reducing noise. I mean, you could try Photoshop, but th this, this software does an unbelievable job at getting rid of the noise from your images, as you will see here in about two minutes. You can also look down here in the corner and it's going to show you the amount of stars that it's scanning. See that number go up? And so once it scans the stars, it has the, the map of the stars and then it's registering the image with the other image. This should be the last one here. As you can see, it looks like a noisy, grainy mess, but don't worry, because we're going to finish that right here. We're going to click on the Combine Images button. Over here, we want to go to the Median or Mean. This is the same function that it does in Photoshop when you do the the smart objects and then down here we want to do the select all images notice is that it turns all the images gray which means they're all selected and we want to hit OK and now you're gonna get your final image right here and then now we want to save it so I'm going to save it in the same directory I have all the other ones click save saved as a TIFF file I'll open up here the folder where we have it saved and I'll show you the difference that it made. So this is one of the original ones. If you zoom in you can see all this noise here. And then now we'll go to the one that we just made. And now you can see there's barely any noise at all here. 
Now, if you had more images, it would be flatter, but I just used 10 for the purpose of this tutorial. And that's it. And then now you can just load it up into Photoshop or whatever other software you want to post process it in. And then you can bring out way more details than you could before with a regular single image. Um, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you liked it. If you did, please click on the like button, subscribe if you already haven't, and uh, leave me some comments. And I'll, I'll leave a link below in the description on where you can buy the software if you're interested. All right, guys. Talk to you later. Bye.